Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So, Scar here, bringing you another episode of Stud Tech, where we take modern building to the extreme. And we're here in the frontiers of Stud Tech, working on our old West 4. And today's episode, we're going to build two, that's right, two super awesome bedrooms. One kid, one teen. Let's get this episode underway. I'm a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Welcome back to Stud Tech, and we're over here in what is now my favorite view of the fort, where we've got that cool little cave under there, we've got the beautiful trees, and of course the towers, and look at the soaring eagles. <laughs> How cool is that? But let's get right into it today, where we are going to be building some awesome bedrooms. So not just one, but two bedrooms with their own unique beds and styles, and I think it'll be really awesome, and I can't get through my own door. Apparently, I've been eating too many pork chops. But anyway, let's head inside of our office. And of course, in our last episode, we built the armory. So that's right. Those doors just opened. And let's head right inside. And you can see all the different weapons on the shelves and all the cool little bits of detail. Now let's go through those awesome doors to our upper level where we built our bathroom. So we built this beautiful bathroom in our last episode where we've got the toilet sink and shower all set up and ready to go. And most important, of course, is the toilet paper. Got that set up also. But let's get right into it today where we have many bedrooms to complete. We've got one in there and one over here, of course. So let's round the corner, pull out our pallet of materials, and let's get right into it. So first thing we need to do is we need to build bunk beds. That's right. This is going to be the kid's bedroom. Okay. So we're just going to get this guy up and I seem to always forget how to do this. There we go. How do I do this? I forgot. Oh, oh, that's right. Just got to go through the motions, my friends. There we go. Looking good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this out three blocks like so. And now we're going to build some posts. So we're going to build some posts going all oh, the way up like that. There we go. Looking good so far. Looking good so far. And then let's see. We're going to put that on the edge like this. There we go. So we can put that like right on the edge like that. And that's that looks like a weird bed. That looks like something you may find in a jail cell. So hopefully we can make it a little bit nicer for the kids. There we go. And then let's bring these pieces across here like that. And then I'll put that along there like so. Ah, very cool. Okay. Next thing we need to do, I need to make those little squares. So let me just jump over here real quick. And oh boy, Scar's dyslexia is kicking in right now. There we go. Get that all set up. And let's see, let's jump up here. And I'm not going to put them up there because that will be something in the future that I don't want to mess with. Okay, good. So I originally wanted some white wool, um, but I accidentally made all of my white wool green. And so that was the first Scar mistake of the day. So I'm just going to use this for now as the pillow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there we go. And apparently the tenants of this house got a super duper sale on green wool because apparently every blanket in this house is green. So that's a thing apparently. Okay, good. So um, I'm going to cut this in half here. Get the cut, go, get the cuts going. There we go. Looking good, looking good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do just a nice little design on the back end over here. There we go. And... I just want to run this nice little border going across here. This will just look nice. Get this thing just a little extra detail. There we go. Looking good. And I might want to do something a little bit different on that side. So I'm going to hold off there for now. There we go. So if I can keep from doing scar mistakes, what do you think of the bed so far? Are we out? We are out. Let's make some more. There we go. Let's make just a couple of stacks extra because we're going to need some more where we're going. There we go. Awesome. So I think... Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to do the skinnier one. I think that adds more depth to the bed. And it does look like a small kind of bed that a Minecrafter, a smaller Minecraft child may uh, actually live in, in the uh, front tiers of Stud Tech here. So I think that's pretty cool. And I just want to jazz up the back end of the room back here with the design that we do so that it all kind of looks like it's kind of flowing together so you can kind of get a good idea of how it'll look once we complete. There we go, looking good. All right, let's move on now and let's grab out our chisel mod here and we're gonna go with orange today. That's right, we're going with orange, one of my personal favorite colors and we are just going to start jazzing up this room to make it look like a kid's room. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna put toys and I wanna put toys all over the floor. I don't know about you, when I was a kid, I loved having just piles of toys on the floor. 
It was like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want to clean up my room today. Why would I clean it up? Because I'm just going to pull the toys out of the cupboards again anyway. So why would I put them away? <laughs> that was my philosophy when it came to cleaning my room. Because why would I put all my Legos and Star Wars toys in their appropriate uh, boxes, containers, boxes, things of that nature when I'm just going to take it out like 10 minutes later and put it on the floor and play with them. So that was always my philosophy when it came to that. All right, um, let's grab out some toys now. Okay, so... So, I've got some ideas. I think I'm gonna do is a dresser on this wall right here, as you can see. So we're using the deco craft, and let's see, hello, there we go, awesome. So we're getting that all set up. So that's deco craft, of course, that came from, and that's the wrong bag scar, there you go. Look at you, you're learning now. And then, uh, let's see, we're gonna put the shelving units on either side like this. And there we go, looking good, sweet. And I'm just gonna set these aside because we're gonna need some more in a little while. Wrong bag again, Scar. Uh, then I'm gonna grab out, I think a toy boat will look cool. Uh, what else would look cool on the shelving units? Oh, oh, the toy castle, yeah. Toy castle is gonna look amazing. Oh, that's awesome. We'll put that out there, let's put the toy boat up there. Oh, this is great. Um, let's see, what else can we get out of here? Let's see, oh, look at this cow. Totally gonna put the cow up here. Come on, little guy, get up there. Come on, come on. Oh, hello. There we go. Oh, that's looking amazing so far. Oh, this is actually a lot of fun to find all these little toys and things of that nature and put them together. Um, what else can we do? Let's see. Oh, a rocking horse. Hello, rocking horse. You would look amazing right there. Beautiful. Awesome. We are moving right along. This is awesome. Uh, here we go. This is what I talked about. This is when we put all our toys and stuff on the floor. There we go. Put that right there. Put the train right there. Can't go wrong with the train ever. There we go. And let's see. Yeah, I think that is starting to look good. So let's take a quick break from that and let's move on to the design up here. So I've replaced all these blocks with carpenter's blocks so we can apply these oak panels to here. That'll give the room its character and its unique design that goes throughout the upper level of the room. So then, of course, we're going to take these blocks here and let's see if I can get them on here. Ha! Huh. They appear to not want to go up there today. There we go. Well, now they do. So I don't know what that was. But anyway, I'm um, getting this all over here. So our next room is going to be more of a teenager's room. And that one will have a little bit different design. So I'm kind of excited to show you guys some of that. As you can see in the Deco Craft ball, or um, not balls, but the Deco Craft bag, um, we've taken out some of the uh, materials that are kind of more desk-like, scientific type things. Um, and I'm so glad, speaking of the deco craft balls, I meant to say, was we spent a lot of time in the early days of Stotech getting a lot of deco craft balls built up. And I'm certainly glad I did get all those because I've used so many of them recently and I think they've all slowly kind of come together and starting to look pretty cool. So let me finish up the basic design and structure of this room and then we'll move over to the next one. All right, and welcome back. And we've got our room pretty well set up. Now I might change the ceiling and add a little something up there. But other than that, I think this room is starting to come together. Put our final touches on here, light up the back corner. Um, there's still a few more things in the lighting department that I would like to do in here, but uh, I want to kind of move on to our next room. So let's head down here. And like we've talked about, this is kind of the uh, teenager's bedroom. So we kind of have a baby in the master bedroom. We have two kids and a teenager in this one. So I think that's a, that's a good amount of rooms because back in the day, you know, people had a lot of kids and stuff like that. So I think this will fit perfectly. All right, we'll put those across there like a so. And we'll jump down here and grab ourselves a carpenter's block. So let's see, let's get this guy going. There we go, of course I did it wrong because that's always the thing. There we go, and boom, wonderful. And then let's bring this all the way across here. So we'll bring this to about three. There we go, cut out the scar mistake, clear that and grab ourselves some of these pillars. Okay, so these guys are gonna go on the edges similar to what we've done on the other room. There we go. And I'll run these pieces along here. Now I might take these and push them all the way to the back, but um, I'm not 100% sure yet if I wanna do that yet. So we'll just see. We'll just see what, what looks good, okay? And then I'm gonna bring these pieces up there like, hmm. You know what, you know what? I'm actually gonna take those off. I have an idea, I have an idea, plan B. And then I'm gonna jump up here. I'm gonna put these there. Oh yeah, I like that. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Awesome, wonderful. Okay, so let's grab out our carpet. There we go, and now we've got ourselves an awesome pillow. And of course, like we've talked about before, the owners of this house got a good sale on green blankets. There we go. We can mix it up later if we want to. 
And that's a little too thick. I think I'm gonna go with the skinnier one. There we go. Much better, much better, looking good, looking good. Um, on the back side, I do think I'm gonna go with the thicker one back here. And there we go, looking good. I'll show you why I'm gonna do that in just one second. There we go, awesome. Okay, let's swap those off and grab ourselves these little ball things or squares. There we go, put those right there. Awesome, Don't those look cool? And then we can do that again up here. We can all those do those in maybe even oak. It might even give it a little contrast. But isn't that like the greatest bed you've ever seen? Wonderful, awesome. All right, let's move on here. So I would like to open these up and actually make a window. And I may make some windows actually in that other room over there, but for now I feel like this would be just fine. There we go. Get a little bit of natural light in here, wonderful. All right, and then let's jump over here if we can find the right backpack, wonderful, there's our windows. And then we'll just stick these guys in here like so. There we go, and oh. Hello, that's not what we wanted. There we go, cut those out, put those back down, and shift click to make sure we don't create any more scar mistakes. There we go, nice, nice, looking good, looking good. Um, let's jump back here, and let's deposit some of these extra materials for now. We'll get to these in a little bit, but I just wanna kinda clean my inventory just ever so slightly, so it's no messy, messy mess. There we go, okay. So next thing I wanna do here is create like a little cabinet, if you will but I think I might shrink these up a little bit. So let's jump these, let's put these in here and let's cut those down a little bit and just see what we can do about making this kind of like a nice little cabinet right here, just for extra supplies. Oh no, that's my wall. I broke my wall. I broke it, it's dead. Oh, let's fix it. There we go. It's all fixed now, don't worry. And then we'll stick these guys like this. There we go. And we can, we can adjust this a little bit in a minute just to get something basic down for now. There we go, I like that quite a bit. Let's get rid of that torch. How about not, because it's getting kind of dark in here. <laughs> there we go, we'll leave those down for a little bit. Okay, so this side over here is where we need to make um, like a desk or something along those lines. So let's grab out from our desk, let's grab out a chair. There we go, put that in there because I figured we may need it. And I grab these two things here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right about here. I'm gonna put this right there, awesome, okay? So the person who lives in this particular bedroom is a, he enjoys or he or she enjoys a bit of the science. That's right, a little bit of the science. So I thought we could grab a couple, you know, little science things and I think that'll look really cool. So the person who lives in here enjoys their science. There we go, put that along there. Sneak on this side over here, place down another one and then we'll put one back here and back there, just kind of cleaning that up, making it look a little bit more desk-like furniture. And what do you think? I think that looks pretty cool. I think that looks really nice. And then what we're gonna do here is just open this up once again, and this room will have quite a few different windows. So I think that'll look really nice. Get our extra materials, beautiful. And we can take these guys, there we go. And I'm gonna stick this one right about there. Come on, come on, don't be shy. Oh, I was clicking the wrong one. <laughs> there we go, we'll put that like so. And uh, yeah, let's uh, add some details. So what would you put on here, my friends? What would you put on here? Maybe some potion? Maybe some spilled potion? Aha, that's, that was cool. Uh, let's see, what else do we wanna put on here? Let's see, let's see, let's take a globe. Let's see if we can put that right here. Let's remove that. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Aha, that looks awesome. Um, what else can we do? Let's jump back in our bag here. So we have all these possibilities. We got a dartboard, um, we've got a microscope. Nice, let's put that up here. Can we do it up here? Can we, can we, come on. Be my friend now, be my friend. No, it doesn't wanna be my friend at all. Can we even be my friend over here? No, it doesn't even wanna be, it doesn't even wanna be there. How picky, how picky are you? How picky? <laughs> um, let's see, how about we do, how about we do, hmm. Hold on, let me, let me see if why some of these aren't going down and let me finish the trim across here and fix the ceiling and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So as you can see, we got rid of the floor. So now it's time to pick a floor color for this particular room. And I think we're just gonna kind of go with this kind of gray carpet block here and I think it'll look kind of cool. It's actually a little more tan to me, but whatever. There we go. And oh, this is gonna look kind of weird right here. Oh, I thought I could put these um, you know, glowstone blocks down there, and I just realized that looks a little bit hokey. 
Um, hmm. Well, let's roll with it for now, and we'll change it. Uh, I'll change it off camera because I, I'm not a huge fan of the way that looks. Uh, maybe it'll grow on me. Let me know what you think. Do you guys like that, or does that look a little bit goofy? Let me put this last block right about there. Okay, let's take a little look. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. Most carpet do have kind of a weird little logo, or not logo, but a design on the edges, but I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that at the moment, but it may grow on me. Okay, let's uh, grab some portraits. So I thought some portraits might look kind of cool on the back side here. Now, as you know, oh, okay, that was the portrait that I wanted. Never mind, never mind. I was about to complain about Minecraft portraits never becoming the ones you want, but apparently it decided to become the one I wanted. So I can't complain. Next thing I want to do here is I want to add a bit of a design on these pieces going across here. So I did one in the other room that I thought looked kind of cool. And this is probably my favorite aspect of this house is being able to make these kind of cool designs with micro blocks. It's kind of a craftsman design and it's super fun. Kind of a See, bring this across here. A Frank Lloyd Wright type style a little bit. Um, that's one of my all time favorite designs. Um, architects also, so that is super fun to be able to kind of do kind of cool little designs like this. Um, as you can see, there's a couple little scar mistakes here. So let me actually reverse this one here. I'm gonna replace it to there. That one's good. And this one needs to be replaced also, so it's in more of a line. There we go. And see what you can do? You can kind of find little areas of the room like this. We'll separate it by two, and then we'll bring these across here like that. There we go. And then as you can see, you can kind of do some really kind of fun little designs like that. Uh, I want to show you what they look like in this room over here. As you can see, that's the ceiling design I used in here. I love the little squares up there. Um, I think those came out really nice and I added some additional accessories on that wall right there. So yeah, those are super fun to kind of put together and to try to come up with, you know, fun and unique um, little designs for the ceilings. And I kind of like doing a little, something different for each one. I think we've kind of done that in the house. And yeah, I kind of like that. I think that's kind of cool. Um, I still think we probably should bring this all the way across. Yeah, because it's a little odd just having it in that one spot. But there we go. That's perfect. Nice. I love it. All right, there we go. So let's take a look in our deco craft bag and see what other mysteries and wonderful things that we can do. And what is this, a jewelry box? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Where can we put the jewelry box? Come on, come on. There's got to be a place we can put the jewelry box. Come on, come on, come on. Work with me here. <laughs> Work with me. <laughs> it's just will not let me place this dang thing in or anything anywhere. It's really frustrating. So let's actually make some bedside cabinets on the back side over here. So let's put one right there and let's put one. Can we do one back here? No, we can't. We can only do one right there. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's put a candle there if we can. Let's do that. There we go. Maybe we can put a telescope in the room. Maybe that'll allow us to have a telescope. Maybe the deco craft gods will allow us to have a telescope. Please. Oh, oh my gosh, we're we're trapped here. We're trapped. Okay, let's see, can we do it? No, no, it's just like, no, Scar. No, can't have it, can't have what you want. Can't have what you want. <laughs> oh, I wish there was somewhere we could place this. But anyway, let me put the final touches on the rooms and get some more details together, and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back, and let's put the final touches on the room. And I've got a couple ideas that I think you guys will like for Compromise. So I was able to get the telescope down, which was awesome. And then let me around the corner here. We've got our dresser. We've got our board up there looking pretty cool. Now, we can put an actual deco craft shelf because of this, um, this piece of our dark chocolate sticking up right here. So what I've done here is I've taken, of course, one of our dark chocolate shelving pieces like that and made a custom shelf. So I think it actually looks better personally than the actual deco craft shelving if we can see an example apparently there's not one in the room but i think that looks better and we can put some more bottles up there and i was able to get the uh, microscope um, positioned in this orientation to make it actually sit down um, i just rotated this a little bit to the right and worked out pretty darn awesome so yeah that is uh some custom built shelves there and i think those look pretty darn cool and of course we have our beautiful bed and portrait dartboard and yeah so that is our kind of a older kids bedroom and of course i also added these little 
glass things over the bookcases and yeah so i think this is a pretty cool room it's you know somebody who likes you know kind of a little bit of science and stuff like that and i think that looks pretty cool so let's move down to the kids bedroom and of course this is the kids bedroom full of toys and all sorts of good stuff and one of the most absolutely beautiful ceilings in the house as you can see up in the top there and look at all these fun little toys we got trains and all sorts of good stuff up there we've got some portraits up on the wall and a little sandcastle a little boat and of course look at this bed is this not the coolest bunk bed of all time? I don't even know what could be if that's not. And well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed these uh, these two little builds for our bedrooms. And I feel like they really kind of make this house come to be one super awesome house. And yeah, so until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar. I always really appreciate you guys taking time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter.